Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Steven Universe Save the Light. It's been a little bit since I've recorded this one. Damn it, sorry, hit the table. I just got done doing the intermission for the temple, and I hate the temple. But we are here at the, the temple, not the temple that I did, but the gems temple. And we gotta do a couple quick little things. I figured out the stuff I gotta do to finish up Beach City, and also trailer for the movie got released. It's coming out September 2nd. Steven Universe, the movie, September 2nd. Can't wait. So many things happened in the trailer, and it's gonna be awesome. But we are almost done with Steven Universe. I don't know what episode's gonna be the finale, but it might be during this session. There will be an intermission for the final zone, and there will be a bonus episode. The bonus episode I will show off all the team attacks, and probably all the team attacks, oh, and um, all the weapon upgrades. I will hopefully upgrade all the weapons. So yeah, that's going to be a thing, but it has been a minute since I've recorded this game. I had a lot stocked up for this one. And I've got a lot of LPs going on now. I really, as I've said, I don't have a roadmap for my LPs. I just kind of do them. I've started Dark Souls. I've got Titanfall. I've got Days Gone. Days Gone's probably going to take a little while because it's an open world game. Dark Souls might take a bit because it's Dark Souls. But I play Dark Souls very fast. So there is a... Yeah, there it is. I've been wondering where this message in a bottle is. So romantic and mysterious. It's addressed to the captain. We gotta go give this to Yellowtail. But we have one other thing we have to do in Beach City, and I'm very pissed at what it is. We have to give 50 tokens to Bultron. And I haven't been keeping count of how many I've been giving him. So, we are gonna buy a bunch of tokens from Harold Smiley. And yeah, we're gonna give a bunch to Bultron. I don't know how many I've given him. I have no idea, but I really don't want to waste all of my star bits on this. So, we'll be back once we've given him, hopefully... Oh, well, that's all Mr. Smiley has, so let's give Voltron Ooh, all of our tokens. We'll be back if anything interesting happens. I'm just going to speed through this, I think. Normally I'd cut, but we're just going to speed through it. Agreeing future to a special prize. Yay! Hey, Starfruit. Check the prize dispenser below me. Um, that's a really weird fortune. Oh, wait. Ranch bacon fried I know I put it in here somewhere. Check the prize dispenser below me. More ranch bacon fry bits. I know I put it in here somewhere. I didn't even read that one. That's oddly specific. Hey, I know a mighty hey, line. Already did the line back. part. In the very near future, you receive. Yay! Bottle of roses too. Cheeseburger backpack. Am I recording audio? I am. In the very near future. Yay! Sweaty beef band. Bow, beefy sweat band. I mean. What am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Ooh, I know. I got just the thing. Okay, so Mr. Smiley is now out of tokens. There's probably a few left in the final zone. So let's go give this to Yellowtail. And then we'll head off to the last zone of the game. Not counting the zone for the final boss. Now the last zone of the game in my original playthrough, it's the last area I have to 100%. Because there's a sub-zone where you need a magical who's what's it and I couldn't find it. So that'll be blind for me. That and I just got tired of playing this game because I played it like constantly when it came out. If you haven't realized, I'm a huge Steven Universe fan. I'm sure you've all have heard my phone go off a number of times during these LPs, and it's either been the warp pad noise, or it's been uh, Connie's ringtone that Steven has for, well, Steven's ringtone, but it all, I only remember playing for Connie. Alright, so we give that map in a bottle, message in a bottle to, oh, 
Okay, we don't have to give. We're done. This might be for you, since you own a boat and all. That makes you a captain. So, looks pretty mysterious and interesting. Yeah? You, you want to tell me about it? Uh, well, perhaps the mystery is more fulfilling than the actual content could ever be? Gives us a level up charm. So, apparently, I've already given everything. I thought I read somewhere that you have to give him 50 tokens. I know he did give us the badge way back when. So, yeah, that's Beach City 100%. That's every zone at 100%, except for the Forge. And if you haven't guessed through dialogue and me, me being coy, I guess, the, the forge is actually the final zone. There's a hidden area in it that Hesonite has somehow opened. So, let's head on to the forge, and it just dawned on me that y'all have leveled up. Upgrades, upgrades, I love upgrades. And I'm just gonna jack your defense up on the Love is all you need. Super taunt, all or nothing. I want super taunt. Behold, the power of love. I'm gonna change up party comp. I think. Prepared. I want synchronized oh, pearl. Yes, I did earn this. All right. So I want to keep garnet, I think, and I love pearl to death. But we're gonna switch out pearl for the paradorito. All right, so we're gonna head to the forge. On to the next one. Turn off my speakers for my iPad, my iPod. So I do have my audio settings a little different than normal. Hopefully it's not too loud or not too low. I noticed the last few recordings I wasn't paying attention and the audio is kind of low. My, uh, the game audio and my commentary audio. I want to try to get it balanced. And I'm still not 100% versed in all this shit. I can set my Elgato to oh God, to export common or er, audio and video separately, but I don't know. It's weird and it's not working correct for me, so I gotta play around with it some. Before we head into the secret door that is now available to us, that well, that's new. If she's here, it's for one reason only: to use the power of the forge to upgrade the prism's constructs. Stephen, how's your head? Still sort of wonky. Like, when I was seeing that stuff from the prism, if I saw Hessenite, do you think she saw me? What if that's the reason she knew about the forge? Steven, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah. So yeah, that's new. But, let's check this real quick and see if we can upgrade anything. No on the sword. No on the spear. The whip, we can. The tablet is a no. And Greg's guitar is a no. So we can max out Amethyst's whip, so let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, any, epi any episode, any weapon that I haven't maxed out will be maxed out by the bonus, which is going to suck for me because I have to farm Chroma. Super shiny Amethyst Whip. Enemies are now guaranteed to drop a star point when defeated with Amethyst basic attack. So that's Amethyst's Whip completely upgraded. Come on, team. So yeah, I still don't have a roadmap for any of my LPs. I need to sit down and figure out what ones I want to do and not just, oh, this sounds like fun, let's do this game. But that's kind of what I've been doing. It's like, hey, I feel like playing this game. I think it would make a good LP. Like Dark Souls, for instance. I was tired of playing all these shooters, and I was like, I want to play through Dark Souls again. Fuck it, I'll make it an LP. So by the time this goes up, hopefully I'll have the first couple episodes of Dark Souls uploaded. I love the music for Bismuth and the Forge. It's so good. Hey, there's some Chromas. I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, farming for that stuff. Not looking forward to that. What do we got? A lot of light bits. That's good, because I wanted to stock up on uh, Only one. Cheap ass. Another chest. So, so you might be wondering why this is a thing. Power went out. So yeah, luckily the game didn't shit itself too hard. Ready when you guys are. It's like not even. It was raining earlier, but it hasn't even been raining, and the power went out for literally half a second. It wasn't even out long enough to fuck my clocks up or knock my internet out. 
It went out long enough to turn off my PlayStation. Ugh. It's annoying. I'm totally cutting out that loading screen. But we're here in the... Wait. How are we in this area? I never came to this area. Okay, so... What? Alright, we're gonna backtrack through the forge, apparently. Because the game shat itself. Did I load the right game? <laughs> Pretty sure I loaded the right save. Yeah, I'm still gonna try to avoid some of these fights. Oh, he killed himself anyway, because... Wow, this is weird. I gotta backtrack to the floor. Okay. I'll try to do battles with some of the new enemies, just to show the new enemies off. But I am gonna try to avoid most of the fights, and I might just go ahead and cut them out. Because they... I don't know, they take forever to do, and... I know you guys don't want to just see me wander around, but... Oh, this! I mean, that's not what I'm... What I just did is not what I'm supposed to do, but... Okay. I'm gonna do as much of the forge and plunk run as possible. But yeah, I'm, for some reason, having to backtrack through the forge... Oh, yeah, I forgot you gotta do Steven's little barrel roll. Hey, there's a little life, Steven. So we got that taken care of. And I'm currently dying... No. I don't understand why it started me there. Steven, you might die. No. Eat donut. Just eat it. Just eat the fucking donut. Man, I can't believe the power went out. That's irritating. Whip. Whip, whap, whoop. I mean, this is the first area of the board, but it's weird that it didn't start me. I don't know, it's just weird. Got a bunch of those level up charms I need to use, but I don't know how I want to use them on. If I happen to 100% the forge for the most part as we're going through it, the only inter the only yeah, the only thing that might be in the intermission is the sub zone. It all depends. You're a basic bitch enemy. You're a basic bitch enemy. Oh wait, did I go around a bargain circle? What? I am so confused. No, this is where I thought I would have started. I wonder if uh, my Elgato kept recording my ramblings as I was trying to get my PlayStation to move back up. If it did, I might keep my ramblings in. I think it'll be funny. Or I'll insert them in the loading screen or something that I said I was going to get rid of. I think I need Pearl for this. Fucking half pearl. Pretty sure I need pearl. Uh, well, yeah, this is where I was when the power went out. I was behind those obsidian blocks. Is there a warp pad around here anywhere? What is this? This looks like I should be able to move it. Okay, here's a warp pad. Let's get pearl. Wow, we've only got three chests and a couple of secrets. All right, let's get Pearl real quick. Sorry, Perry. 
They showed Paradot in the trailer too, which is awesome. Hopefully, Lapis is going to be part of it. And they showed Pearl and Amethyst fusing, so that means that Opal's going to be back. Though I did see in the casting list that Opal's voice actress was part of the casting, so... What the fuck? That was kind of goofy looking. Alright, what do we got? Star Block Badge. Blocking an enemy sometimes awards a Star Block. All right, let's go back and get paired up, and then continue on. Be back in a second. Nah, I'll just maybe fast forward through it. I kind of feel like doing that. So yeah, I've either cut that little itty bitty walking out, or I fast forwarded through it. I haven't decided yet. I fast forward through just because I like doing that. It's funny. And I forgot you can do that. I only just now learned how to do it with my editing software because I didn't really try to learn to use it. I just kind of started using it and learning it as I go. Whoa! Look at you! You dick. So that was a fun battle. That dude fucking shot me out of the air. So I'll either... If it's not against the new... Really, dude? I don't know why you guys gotta involve me in these group texts of your bullshittery. So I'll either just cut out the battles that aren't against new enemies, or I will speed through them, because speeding through them is kind of funny. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Irritated still that fucking uh, power and shit went out. Alright, new enemy. We'll go ahead and fight you. Although he's just a palette swap of um, an enemy we've already fought. Am I gonna get hurt? Nope. The, uh, oh god, I can hear thunder, so... Fun times ahead. I really shouldn't be using these star fruits, but I'm gonna use them anyway. We're getting towards the end, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, the, uh, the big ice sword-wielding enemies, these are just a palette swap of them. That's a little more than a palette uh, it's still... But instead of uh, freezing you, they cause fire damage. Oh, excuse me. Oh. 
think that's thunder that I hear. Saunter towards me. Hey. hey. No, don't attack Steven again. Ah. Damn it. Yay, that killed him. That's all I hoped for. Are you guys still hit? Jesus Lord. I need to remember to silence my phone when I do this, but I just don't think about it. And my friends are idiots. Alright, so this is where it started us for some reason. I have no idea why. Because this is like part way through the zone. Hey, Chroma. Now, the enemies here, I'm pretty sure I have to kill a few of them because they drop an item that we need. So, we'll be back. So yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be cutting out the battle, at least not all of it. Probably going to still fast forward, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we uh, got the stone engraved, you got the engraved stone piece, there's a message engraved on this, but part of it is missing. Darn. Hey, you kind of got to level up. Yay. So we got this engraved stone piece. I don't know if you noticed, but this thing here in the center is a giant statue of Rose Quartz, and at her feet is this plaque. I put it in here somewhere. We have to find all of the engraved stone pieces, which I think there's three. Hmm. There might only be two. Oh, hey, it fits. It looks like part of it's still missing. Connie, we need you, although I could have had Garnet do it too. Oh, it's starting to rain. Like, it's starting to rain. Like that. Is that everything down here? I think so. Ah! Gotta do that again. Yay! See, so yeah, it's just a big old Steven. It's. Um, this room business kept a secret. We should keep moving. Looks like there's an item up there. I wonder what that there thing could be. Another engraved stone piece. I think there's one more, but I don't know. There might only be two. Alright, there's only two. That looks like the last one. Now we can see the complete message. They're not stuck. <laughs> Let's have a look. It says, To our fearless leader, you gave us everything. You made us who we are. I would do anything for your cause. I would do anything for you. Bismuth. Bismuth. Come on. We gotta keep moving. Right. Actually, wait a minute. There's something lodged under here. Shield schematics! So we got our level 3, level 2 shield schematics. So yeah. 
this episode might get cut here in just a little bit. A, it's raining, and B, we've actually been going for about our limit, considering I'm going to have to splice together the rest, and we're going on to the next zone. So once I hit a warp pad, I guess we're going to end it there. So yeah, and I got some stuff to play around with. I think I finally fixed how my Elgato exports, so I'm hoping I did and that I can get it all working. We'll see, though. Should be fun. Time to quest with the best. Ow. Hey, dickbag. So, where, where is, where is thine warp pad? I know that's not even close. Ooh. Ugh, my head. Oh man, not again. Looks like we'll need to do this the hard way. Um. I saw her again. She's using the forge hmm. to make the prism stronger somehow. Somehow? Yeah, I mean, beats me how any of this wacky prism stuff works. Yeah, no, I know that's not even close to what I said would be in German, but... I don't speak German. I took it in high school and failed it. Hey, there's a level up charm. I want to say the forge also might be a slightly shorter zone overall, but I really want to find a warp pad before, there's the warp pad, okay, okay, so that's going to do it for now, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I know I did, and I'll see you all next time, Till then, take it easy, have a good one.